Hey folks, welcome back. And if this is your first time here, thanks for dropping in. On my last video, I had somebody ask if I would show my process for taking a muslin and making adjustments so that it fit well before making the final garment. And I have to admit, that I don't make a whole lot of muslins, so I'm not real sure what that process is, but I figured I would take this opportunity to go through it with you guys and maybe figure out what my process is. I don't know. If nothing else, you guys can see what I do and then do the exact opposite because I think whatever I do is probably gonna be wrong. I don't know. Is there a right way to do it? Is there a wrong way to do it? Uh. Anyway, <laughs> I do have a sewing project coming up and I absolutely want to make a mock-up of it first because it's a little bit more fitted. So why don't we use today to go through that process and see if I can figure it out. The entire process starts with the pattern. So I have my pattern cut out for the most part. I'll talk about that in just a minute. And I have my fabric picked out that I'm going to do the mock-up in. One thing I do know about making mock-ups is that whatever fabric you use should have the same weight and drape as whatever fabric you want to use on the actual project. So I'm going to use a bed sheet for the actual project and I found a bed sheet that I'm going to use for the mock-up. I already have a skirt made out of this bed sheet. I've got some left over. I'm going to use it. So without further ado, let's get into this process and we'll see what happens because even I'm a little bit interested. But first I have to clean off my workstation as always. This is my actual pattern. Then I always have these kind of patterns. Fold that up neatly, and there's my fabric. So we have the bodice front, the bodice back. This has got a skirt that goes with it. But instead of printing out the entire skirt, because in my mock-up, I don't need to make the whole skirt. I can make it longer or shorter as much as I need to. But what I do need to know is how the top of the skirt fits with the bottom of the bodice. So instead of printing the whole skirt, what I've done is I just print the top of it. This way I can put this part together on the bodice without wasting a whole bunch of fabric. I hope that makes sense. In my head, it makes sense. Another thing that I really need to do that I haven't done yet is mark how many skirt panels I'm supposed to cut. Because I didn't print everything and piece it together, I'm missing those instructions. So I need to look back on the pattern, see how many of each of these I'm supposed to cut, and then we'll get the whole pattern cut out. Guess what guys? I remembered to mark my little hash marks. I normally forget that, but we're doing things right today. But only for today. After today, all bets are off. I have all of my pattern pieces cut out. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna review the instructions to see how to put all this together. And then I will pin it up and take it through my sewing machine. Once I get it through my sewing machine and I'm able to actually try it on, that's when we'll do some adjustments. So let's do that real fast and see how it works. And rather than take you through all those boring steps, movie magic, we're just going to do one of these things. Here is where we are in the mock-up. I am not flexible enough to close up all that back there. So I kind of have to use my imagination right now. So here are the things that I'm looking for when making adjustments to a mock-up. Number one is gonna be the waist. This actually feels like it's designed to sit lower than my natural waist. My natural waist is here and this is about an inch lower. So if I were to bring this up about an inch, it changes the sizing a little bit, so you need to be careful about that. But I can't tell if that looks better or worse. The other things I'm looking at, the darts. So the darts on this seem to fall right where they should. I don't know if I iron them out very well, but they end right where they're supposed to. The straps probably need to be shortened up just a little bit. So if I shorten them up like that, it brings the whole bodice up. And I think that actually might fix a lot of the issues. 
And then it's supposed to have a zipper. I just don't have a zipper long enough to put in. So I need to go out and get a zipper. It might actually be a little too big, which is kind of what I thought would happen. I am making the 12, 14 size rather than the 810 because I figured it's better to have a little bit more space than not enough. And the inspiration for this dress is very well fitted. I'm actually just wondering if maybe when I put the zipper in I can just take up some of the extra in the zipper because everything else seems to fit pretty well. I don't know but I do really like it. It is pretty flattering even in this like wrinkly unflatteringness. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at it. It is a little too big though. If I take up the zipper, that might be it. And then take the straps up. That might solve a lot of my issues. So I think what I'm actually gonna do when I transfer the piecemeal pattern onto contractor paper is I may actually cut it halfway between the 810 and 1214 line. Cause I think doing that might actually be just enough to manage some of the the excess that we've got going on here that's what i'm gonna do i say that but like the the waist is almost perfect eh, no okay <laughs> thinking out loud here so what we're gonna do is i am going to transfer this pattern this pattern over to brown contractor paper so it's a little bit more durable i guess and it's got a little bit more heft to it and i'm going to cut it out halfway between the 810 and the 1214 line and i think in doing that it's going to address some of the excess i've got going on and i'm going to trust that that will be enough but really look at how cute it is I wonder if it does this all the time. So this is something else I would want to at least be prepared for when I make it. I don't have a lining in this. I haven't lined it at all yet, but there is, I mean, there's a solid like few inches that could be taken out of the neckline. Hold on. After a lot of talking out loud and continuing to look at it in my monitor here, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take up the straps on the mock-up right now a good maybe inch or two. This back panel is basically going to just kiss this front. So I'm gonna do that. I'm going to fold down the neckline so that it has a an actual hem. And then if I can find a zipper that's long enough, I'm going to put a zipper in so I can see what it actually looks like. That's what I'm gonna do. And then I'll check back in and let you know how things are going. So let's do that. Booyah! So some of the adjustments I think are where they need to be. Shortening up the straps a little bit definitely brought everything up so it sits more at my natural waist now, which is great. The zipper, I found a big heavy duty like duffel bag zipper, which is fine. The last thing that's kind of driving me crazy is this part. This is not supposed to be a cowl neck dress. So I'm not entirely sure how to remedy that. But what I'm thinking is I'm gonna take the armholes and just cut them in a little bit more so that it reduces this. So I think if I go from like this seam, bring it up and take maybe an inch off of each side, I'll probably start with half an inch on each side and see if that's enough to get rid of this guy because if I can get rid of this then I think I'll be pretty happy with it. Like I said going into this I'm not super experienced on fitting muslins or mock-ups or any of this so this is all just kind of guesswork. I genuinely don't really know what I'm doing and I'm sure that there's maybe an easier way to fix this or a proper way to fix this but bringing in the armholes is what I can think of right now. So I'm gonna bring in one side and then take that piece that I cut and mirror it, or maybe I'll just fold it in half. I think I'm gonna just fold the, the top of it in half and do the that cut and put the straps back on because I haven't sewn them on and just pin them on and then see how that works.
overall I've taken about an inch off of each side. It's not perfect, but it's a lot less cowl necky, I guess, than it was. And so what I'll do is I will take that inch off of each side for the front and transfer it over to the pattern. I'm going to measure an inch off the top and then I'm going to connect that line down into the arm side here, but I'm not going to take it into where the seam hits. I'm just gonna kind of let it flow into that curve. There's no like super science off of this, but I just, I don't want it to affect how the bust fits. I'm also gonna make sure to reincorporate the hash marks that are on here so that I still have the right hash marks to line up with the lining if I decide to do that. That part off, let's go. So this is the piece I just removed and you can see kind of where I brought it out to the original line. So right now that's the only change that I've done to the, the pattern itself. One other thing I will be doing for this pattern is recording how short these little strappy pieces actually are for me. The pattern has you cutting probably four or five inches. And as you can see, I only need like maybe two inches here. So I'll be noting that on my pattern as well. A little peplum is really kind of cute on this. In order to take in some of this bagginess, I'd really, really have to like play around with these front darts. And I don't really want to do that. I think if I cinch this in anymore, then you're going to start seeing some of the areas that I don't necessarily want to showcase. So I'm gonna leave those just the way they are, but I'll probably line this so that I can put it in my closet. So overall, I think the fit is pretty good. This part, I'm still not super, super happy about, but if I take it in any more here, it's gonna start showing where like my bra straps are and I do wanna make sure I can continue to wear a normal bra under this because I'm a person and I don't wanna wear specialty undergarments. I don't really wanna wear undergarments anyway, but society and things. So I think that's a pretty quick and dirty look at how I kind of think through mock-ups and muslins and adjusting patterns as I need. But I'm really happy with this. This is really freaking cute. And now I'm really excited to put the whole thing together as a real garment. So stay tuned for that. That is coming up next, whenever next is. And I thank you for sticking around and watching me go through this process. I'm sure it was really exciting. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you can stay tuned for the next video, which will be the official version of this, and all future videos where I try to figure out what it is I'm actually doing, both in sewing and in life. Until next time, thank you, bye. Yay.